So I kind of like already did this. You know, this is basically kind of how to make a body, yes. but this is more broken down. It's like step by step. At the end, like I kind of just messed with it and it became like a little demon of sorts like that. You, you, you like to do that a lot. Yeah, I like satanic figures. So, uh, wh so who, who are you? I am Raven. You my wife and you gonna help me do this voiceover? Yes. Okay, good, good. Start out with a little ball, yeah. right? And then I squish it down. And this is like a pancake. Hey, it looks more like one of those packing peanuts. Pa yeah, look like a packing peanut. <laughs> it's even gonna look more like a packing peanut. And then I kind of squish it around. Yeah. Like you see my indentation. And now it looks like a packing peanut. I guess I get that part because I be trying to make squares. But that's all another. Yeah, you get you try to make squares. I mean, it's kind of like a square. It's kind of like a roundy mm -hmm. type square. Mhm. Mm and um, and then I kind of just keep pressing around all the corners. And I mush the pointy corners so I don't make it into a square. And then it becomes like a little packing peanut, right? Whatever. And, and then I start like pressing down. That's actually going to be the back. You know how you have like a line going down through your back, your yeah. spine? And then so I'm squishing around the thing. And, 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 then, and then I squeeze in and that becomes a torso, right? Mm -hmm. And then I start drawing clay out the bottom. Well, and, and that becomes the legs. Well, the beginning of the legs. The not beginning really, of it. It's like when you're making a baby. How you just start and come out. That's not how I make a baby. <laughs> no, no, no. Continue. All right. Uh, and, then, and then I keep drawing out the clay. It's kind of like a little pinchy motion. And I go like, boo. And I draw it out. And, and But keep kind of correcting all around. Like press the clay down as I draw it out. And then I, on the small of the back, like where people get tramp stamps, I push down clay. And I make a little butt thing. And, and, and there you go. You see it starts taking form. Like when you draw out the clay and you press down on the back. And then I press down on the front. And that becomes kind of like the area where your stomach is. And the top clay, that's kind of like where the rib cage would start. And that kind of looks like a tooth to me, you know? Yeah, bad tooth. Yeah, bad tooth. You know? <laughs> and then so right, right around here, I show you the other side. And, and is there some hair on that clay? Cause I, I never keep my keep my station clean. No, it's the owner wear gloves. He never does. Not my fault. It's okay. Anyway. And then so that's the that's the knee. You kind of pinch at the at the joining of the thing, and and you make a little knee. And then you kind of press the sides, uh, to kind of because your knee kind of goes in a little bit, and and then you leave a little bit of the fat around the calf, right? So. Yeah, so you leave clay around the cl the calf, right? And then and then you make it come out a little bit more, cause you know calves are a little bit more rounded, more defined, more defined. And that kind of looks like a little hoof. And then it does look like <laughs> yeah, like a little hoof. And then I come down and I pinch that hoof from the sides, and I draw some clay down so that leaves this kind of figure. Now it really looks like a hoof. Kind of mm -hmm. looks like um the guy that trained Hercules. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was his name? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I um, never watched that. Well, they had like a half goat man. And then you press it down and you start making kind of like a foot from the hoof. And then you press the back of it and make the talon. And it, that's kind of how it goes. See, like that. That's how I say. You press the back of it and you push in and you draw it a little bit and that's the talon. And there you go. That's more or less like a leg. <laughs> And, and yeah, you got your little knee, and you got your little thigh. How do you say thigh in Spanish? Isn't it muslo? That's right, muslo. How do you say knee in Spanish? Rodilla. Rodilla. That sounds like a black girl's name. I'm Rodilla. Whatever. It's okay. <laughs> we, uh, you're black, right? We, I, you give me permission to say these? I can't give you permission for a whole race. Okay, all right. I'm not racist. <laughs> um, so, and then we do start doing the same thing to the other leg, right? And then... Uh, you draw out some of the clay, bam, they do the calf, and then you got to make that little hoof thing, right? And you draw more clay, and here I'm showing the comparisons. You want to keep both calves at the same level of uh, yeah. distribution and like It's like clay. the person who's focused too much on one leg during leg day, and then that one leg looks a little bigger than Yeah, other. or like Quagmire. Remember when he discovered the internet, and he was, <laughs> one hand was super strong because he was uh, yeah. jacking it. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. 
and then so now we're done with the legs so we're gonna go up and we're gonna work on the arms so we'll make this little T section and then drop more clay add a little bit of curvature to the spine to that like little sexy right and then and then you see the little padunka dunk you know you got a little bit of cakes and you keep drawing out and you're making the the armpit area and 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 then yeah just keep pulling it out pull out you know get your pull out game right and then pull it and then and then you pinch from the bottom to create an armpit and then you leave a little bit of clay at the top to create a little shoulder and you kind of bend right and then kind of like with the knee, um, you start making an elbow. Same process with the knee. Because, you know, the the knee is the elbow of the f leg. Right? <laughs> what? The knee is the elbow of the leg. Okay. So you do the same process. So just think what you did on the feet. The only thing that changes is the hand. You leave like a little bit of a... A little bit of a massy thing, like a little round bulbousy thing, and, and that you you can kind of make like a little oven mitt or make the little fingers, and 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 you start defining it. I, burp, I always burp. see, and then you draw out, same thing, kind of how you draw out the the big thing. You draw up like a a hand, like a little finger, and a little oven mitt, and it's flat. And you can close that and make it into a fist. Or you can grab something like a credit card and put little, like, three slices through, and that'll create four fingers. And then this the this how you draw the, the, the head. You start drawing out clay from the the area that in the middle of the shoulders, and you draw it out, draw it out, like in a pinching motion, pulling upwards. And, and then you begin to fold over the head, kind of like... You ever seen Spy Kids? No, oh, a long time ago. You remember like the Minions? They were these little finger people. Oh, yeah. I always okay. thought it looks like that. This process kind of looks like the I finger people. Cone heads. Oh yeah, like a little cone head. Yeah. yeah. And you push in the back of the cone head, and you get ready to bend it over. It kind of looks like a bird. It looks like a bird, yeah. Or like those Egyptian masks. Remember? Mm -hmm. Like, the, but it's like uh, one of the. With a bird god? Is that Osiris? What is that one? Don't ask me. Ask him too. Okay. And, and there you go. That's more or less kind of like the head. And then you start kind of shaping the jaw. And then you kind of do your little corrections. And, and that's your base figure. This thing. And from here, if I'm making like a, a man, this is the jumping off point to a lot of things. Like and then I start adding the details and stuff. Um, you can close the hand. Like I said, you just kind of how you they tell you to make a fist in like a boxing class you put in your fingers first and then your finger over that and you can close some fists and then you can start doing some details you know i use my hand and make little indentations little holes to make the little eye sockets and and you can you know um start making the brow ridge if you want to make it a little bigger kind of like hulk i used to draw hulk back in the day they used to have a big brow you know everybody's Anybody that's like big and strong mm -hmm. kind of has a big brow. And then this, and then you can make them look more menacing and angry. And then, and that's kind of how it is. Now you look more like an alien. You look more like an alien. And then he's into that kinky stuff. So, you know, he's it looks like he's holding on to that, you know, <laughs> like a ball and a gag, whatever. But that's how you can make a little mouth, like a mouth. Okay. You know, you can just kind of cut it open and then you can push your fingers and make a little mouth and then uh and make a little chin by like no, pinching like lizard, like. yeah he looks like a lizard, lizard he's got pointy chin uh and then and then i i grab the little toothpick and, and i put like a little hole in his nose now it kind of looks like red skull but still lizard like he's got no lips this is kind of like michael jackson yeah, <laughs> that's it. And then I had some clay, so I made little eye sockets. <laughs> and then pretty soon I start going crazy here, like. But this helps. This is kind of like the base, because this kind of like if you look at his face, it's kind of like a skull. And from there you can keep adding details, and you can add more, um, 
defining features there i made the little nostrils a lot bigger and then this is i used that same tool to kind of just make i just kept messing with it and i just kept poking holes in it and make little horns um is there a reason why his horns are not even on the same side i don't know man this was just like i was just trying to show how to make a body so i just kind of just play with him okay. and so one horn is bigger than the other mm -hmm. you know you got a tiny little horn then I decided to add the clay. You should have just had it like a broken horn. Like yeah, that one and then the other one's broken. That would have been better. Yeah. yeah. You, you messed up in life. And, Something happened. And then bam, that's the end product. Put a little, little yellow clay in there. What's his name? His name is... Hey, that's my leave-in condition. That's your leave <laughs> That's for your hair. His name is Argon. <laughs> Argon. <laughs> oil. <laughs> Argon oil. Yeah, I use them to prop them up. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.